So we'll look at the transform element now. <clears throat> Experimental technology. Okay. When you see that, can I use transform? 89% uh, with prefixes. So okay. It's pretty good. Not quite the 95 that I'm hoping for, but 6% of people maybe will just miss out on a little curled corners. Right? So let's see what transform does. Let's you modify the coordinate space of the CSS visual formatting model, module. Using it, elements can be translated, rotated, scaled, and skewed. Uh, initial value none. So if uh, the property has a value different than none, a stacking context will be created. In that case, the object will act as containing block for position fixed elements that it contains. So uh, transform matrix, translate, scale, rotate, skew, transform none, values, transform function, one or more of the CSS transform functions, and uh, specifies that no transform should be applied. So CSS transform function, coordinates, 2D graphics, Mathematical formulas, <laughs> functions defining transforms, matrix, rotate, rotate, scale, skew. So here we could read about some of these. Translate. So let's, uh, let's see what we can do. So before we uh, embark on... Uh, new territory. I'm going to create a folder. Oops, what I just paste that right here. I want it there. And this will be 91. Transform. And uh, just put nothing in here for a minute. And we have that div. And we have our CSS. It's not what I wanted to do. Cool. So now we can start transforming our our div. This is what our div looks like right now. I'm just going to comment out the shadow for a minute. So all we have is a div. And uh, I think I'll make the background color white and the border. Two picks, solid black. And I like the idea of it being a little bit more of a rectangle, so. And we're going for that card effect. And now we want to skew those uh, corners, so I could just type transform. And no suggestions. So I have to go look to see what I might use. And so some examples are like skew, 30 degrees, 20 degrees. Skew x, 30 degrees. Skew y. So I bet skew is xy. So let's just try transform skew. Interesting. And we could come back over here and look at the another one. Uh, translate matrix, skew, skew y, translate, scale, scale z, rotate, rotate x, rotate. So rotate was, we've already done transform rotate, remember? For that animation. Rotated it certain degrees. So if I do like uh, rotate x, y, z, I think there's just a rotate, isn't there? So let me do a border radius at 20 picks, 0, 0, 0. So we now have a corner. Oops. 
All right, we now have a corner. I'll take skew off. All right, so now we have a top left corner, and now we could do rotate. Do I have to add that? I think I do, right? Degree. Rotate 180. Rotate 360. Why didn't that do anything? <laughs> yeah. Thank you. So that was rotate and skew. So now we could look at this example here. <clears throat> and uh, we have uh, curled corners. I like curled corners. So I'm just going to grab all this right there. And uh, we'll put it here. And we could add uh, class curled. To that div. Went really light. Somewhere in here I changed uh, border one picks. I don't want that. A little bit of lift there. You see it? Well, we didn't apply that to the top. So now let's go get this part. So we had curled there, and then we also had drop shadow. So we're looking for drop shadow, which is right here. So we'll throw uh, that code in. Yeah. Well, that's kind of interesting. Like, why did that show up like that, right? Yeah, yeah. So if we look at that. Take that out. Take that out. Drop shadow, position relative, float left. I don't know if we need this. Don't need that. Margin. Don't need that. Don't need that. We do want box shadow. Oh, that's the one I wanted. Great. We have two box shadows there, and I'll see what happens. I got rid of all that. Oh, now these guys are way down here. So something about having a position relative made it look something else is position absolute, right? Whoa. I don't know how I did that. But it kind of got it. A little bit cool. So you don't always have to know what you're doing to make things happen. That's the moral of this lesson. I don't know how I did that. I just got the code from somebody else and deleted all the stuff which didn't make sense and I put it back in until it worked. I have no idea why those boxes disappeared. So what else could we get rid of? So this drop shadow before and after, content nothing, position absolute, Z index negative two, put something behind every, uh, everything, and font size, font weight. But I don't see it setting a size on that. I think that's where it's kind of creating a, a shadow effect that kind of comes under right at that little angle. I think those little extra boxes were doing that. Oh, the text here? No. I don't know if I can. No, not the large, but we, yeah, control plus. 
Oh, let me make it bigger. Hold on. Let's see what happens. It's good. Tilt those curls, bring those curls up a little bit. Where are those curls coming from? <clears throat> Box shadow. What's curling it up? Transform, right? So here's transform. And let's just get rid of there's box shadow, and let's get rid of all these vendor prefixes. Skew 8 degrees, negative 8, and rotate 3 degrees. Let's try instead of 8, 16, see what happens. We got a little bit of shadow came out the edge there. Rotate 3 degrees, whoops, 30. Oh, little well, card just popped out the bottom. This is a delicate design. All right, so that's kind of a fun little experiment, but I don't feel like following it any further. But, you know, a good place to go to look for uh, ideas. So here's uh, another curl. I do want to follow this one a little bit further, see what happens there. Oh, that's the other side. Which one is this? All that stuff. And uh, we're just going to do transform. So to finish out this uh, example right here, with transform, border radius uh, 20 pixels 0 0 0 so that we see there's a bend I'll make it even more that's wacky And then uh, we can look at some of those transforms. Why pixel, not percentage? I don't know. I was just playing with it to see what it would do. So now you could you could play with this stuff and see what happens. I just copied all those examples. Whoa. What happens if we delete some of that? Who knows? Bye bye. That was cool. Just moved it down 12 pixels or something, 50%, whatever that does. Moved it over. So translate moves it. Scale. Original. Scaled Y. Rotate, we've seen. So there's turn. There's also rotate 180 degree. I like that better. Same thing. Skew. Uh, 
that wackiness again until he disappears. Can't do much. Get it out of there if it wacky. Didn't do anything. I think these need to be more like fifty to see what see anything. Oh you can rotate just X or Y. Interesting. Rotate Z. So maybe some of these would do something different with something else. But a little bit of an idea of how you could just quickly sort of copy a bunch of settings and just kind of see, hey man, what you do? What do you do? So I think I'm going to get rid of the readme file there. Just make this 01. Or better yet, for now. And then get add all. Get commit, some message. And they can be the same messages, whatever message you want, and then push it. Let's see how I'm doing today. I've started to get a green circle, coming back strong. Six contributions today. 39 day streak. You do more com contributions. <laughs> Not cheating, that's programming. <laughs> 